<laughs> this is going to be good. So today I'm going to do reviews of systems, but I'm not going to do the normal source uh, amplifier and speaker and just put it, say, here's system one. Not going to do it that way. No. What I'm going to do is give you lots of choices, especially with speakers. So I think there's seven or eight speakers that I will summarize in this video. Then I'm going to do within this video. Then I'm going to do electronics. And then I'm going to do sources, meaning turntable and DAC options. So all together in this video. And these are all products I have direct experience with. And I will link to the reviews. Most of them I've reviewed. And I will link to those reviews directly below in the description box, directly below this video. Look down there and you'll see how big the woofer is or how big the cabinet is, all that down there. Or I will link to the manufacturer's website or I will link to a place you can buy it like Amazon. So the detail stuff will be down there in the description box or a link to there. And uh, But what this is all about is giving you lots of choices. In the future, in the coming weeks, there will be uh, $1,000 systems and $2,000 systems. But today, let's start with $500 ones. This is going to be fun. So let's get started. So the very first speaker, you probably know what I'm going to tell you, right? The Dayton Audio B652 Air, $65 a pair. It's got a folded ribbon tweeter. I love this speaker. I really do. I mean, first of all, I've listened to it so many times without actually having to write about it or do a video about it. It's just a lovable, easy to listen to, amazingly terrific speaker for $65. It's just easy, easy, easy to recommend. You know, great for a dorm room or kitchen or something. Some way. Get it. Just take my word for it. Buy it and see what you think. Is it the best thousand dollar speaker? No, it's a great sixty-five dollar speaker. Sixty-five a pair. Moving up from there is something a little bit more formidable, and that is the Pioneer uh, SPBS twenty-two LRs, designed by the great Andrew Jones. Uh, Another just budget speaker great for at least four or five years now. It's selling currently for about 90 or $95 a pair on Amazon. Much cleaner sounding, much more dynamic sounding than the B652 Air. Um, not as, well, yeah, not as rich, not as warm, but a, a more transparent sounding. Still very budget speaker, under a $100 pair of speaker. Can't say enough good things about it. Moving up from there, the Emotiva Air Motive B1. It's got another one with a folded ribbon tweeter. Very small speaker, specs below, uh, but a very rich, very powerful sounding little speaker. And one with reasonably good transparency in some part due to that folded ribbon tweeter. Incredible. Uh, then, of course, there's the other <laughs> Andrew Jones company, ELAC. And the B62, which is currently going for $229 a pair. Uh, you know, if I was going to say one to sort of blow you away for not a lot of money, that would be up there. That would be in the top of this list for, uh, you know, a system that can fit within a $500, easily fit within a $500 system. The B6.2 debut. B 6.2 right up there. Then we go to the uh, JBL Stage A130. Easy going, handles nasty, harsh, compressed recordings with greater ease. It's got a one inch aluminum tweeter set into a waveguide. Um, six and a half inch, five, five and a half inch, I'm sorry, five and a half inch uh, paper woofer. Paper, I like paper woofers. Um, Killer, $200 a pair. Then the Klipsch RP51M. Now that one is, they, they, I've seen it on sale now for as little as $124. It's, it's a Klipsch, it's a horn loaded speaker. It's very small and it doesn't make a lot of bass, but it is so dynamically alive. It actually started me on my horn quest of late the last year or so. That's the speaker that started it for me. Now I've heard 
acorns for e forever. But, but when I heard it the first time, I was just so impressed that something that tiny could be that, 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 that had kind of life force, that kind of energy. Now I said, it doesn't make a lot of bass. Then there's the matching, uh, not really matching, but an appropriate clip subwoofer, the R100SW subwoofer. It's a 10 inch powered sub and it's going for 175. So you put those two together, the R51M and the clips sub, bingo, you're under $300 and you got this seriously kick ass, dynamically alive, but great bottom end, thanks to the subwoofer package. Really highly, highly, highly recommended. And then there's the Q Acoustics 3020i, um, currently going for $255 a uh, pair and um, more transparent than most of these others on the list. Small, nice rounded corners, really solidly built cabinet. Um, highly recommended. Again, check my review, which I will link to directly below. Now, um, the last one for, for speakers is the Audio Engine A2 Plus. Now that speaker, which is currently $219 a pair, it's a powered speaker, has built-in power, it has built-in DAC. You can hook up, hook up via USB or I think coaxial. And so you don't need a receiver or anything else. And I, I used the earlier version of that, the original uh, Audio Engine 2, uh, as my desktop system for years and years. It's a very listenable, sweet, forgiving system. You can play all kinds of really nasty recordings through it and it won't kill your ears. And it comes in black or white or red. I like red speakers, but you know, that's obviously your choice. Um, I think, I think we've done it in terms of speakers. So for electronics, we're gonna start at the bottom, work our way up, not very far actually, but we're gonna start with the Dayton DTA 2.1 BT2. It's a slim little 50 watt channel, class D amp, $80. Nice sounding, sweet sounding, class D amplifier would work well with any of these speakers, uh, the ones that work with power amps. And, uh, Highly recommend it, just limited in terms of its inputs and stuff because it's it's pretty straight ahead product. Then we go to the uh, Onkyo TX8020 uh, stereo receiver. Oh man, I, I, I found this one a few years ago. Onkyo still makes it really, really good. So the 8020 is currently going for $119. It definitely gets a thumbs up from me. Moving up from there, the Yamaha RS202 stereo uh, receiver. This one has Bluetooth, if that's meaningful to you. Slightly more, $130. Again, this has been like a go-to for me in budget receivers for a long time. Stereo receivers, right? Then, uh, in terms of other electronics, the Shit Manny is a phono preamp. Now, some of these products have built-in phono preamps. But the Shit Manny for $129 is just so good. And it works with moving magnet and moving coil cartridges. And you won't find too many receivers, certainly at this price range, that accept moving coil cartridges. In case you ever want to step up to moving coil, the Manny can handle it. Great, 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 sweet sounding phono preamp for $129. Um, now the, the, the Onkyo 8020 doesn't have any digital inputs. So if you want to, if you're a heavy into digital person, I would strongly recommend the Shit Mahdi, which is $99. And that one is killer, killer for the money. So in terms of your digital needs to make all your zeros and ones happy, zeros and ones, the Mahdi for $99 is the way to go. Now, if you're gonna buy a turntable, uh, and you're just getting into it, you don't have a lot of money, you don't have too many records, I got the turntable for you. It's the Audio Technica LP60. It's a, it's a plastic turntable, but hold on a second. It's got a cast metal platter, cast aluminum, I believe. It's really easy to use. It's super easy to set up. If you've never set up a turntable, which can be sort of intimidating, the LP60 is the way to go, and the price is right. It's about $99. And uh, again, this is one of those products that 
I kept, uh, when I first started writing about it and thinking about it, I did it in a couple of different places on CNET because it was just so impressive for that kind of money. If you're a little bit more serious about your turntable uh, needs and vinyl buying habits, step up to the Fluence RT80, which is a much more substantial turntable. A little, more, a little trickier to set up, but it's $200, well worth the difference in price. And uh, again, I, th I think Fluence's turntables that top out at $500, this RT line, they are all really, really good. I've heard a, a lot of different models now along the way. But this thing that I'm doing today is trying to keep a whole system price around $500 or less. And uh, I think I've done that. So if you're just getting into the audiophile universe and you don't have a lot of cash, I'm giving you plenty of options and ways to get in. You want to spend more money? <laughs> um, I, I got ideas for you. And that'll come in a, in a future video where I'll do $1,000 and under systems and then I'll do $2,000 and under systems. But for this time, for the initial part of this series, I'm going to do under $500 systems, complete systems, source, electronics, and speakers, all under $500. I think we've done it. My name is Steve Guttenberg. This is the Audiophiliac Daily Show. Comes to you more or less daily, five or six or seven days a week in the summertime. And if you dig it, please, I urge you, subscribe to this YouTube channel. I really mean that, I'm not just joking around. Please subscribe, please share. Oh, when you subscribe, hit that little notification bell so you'll be aware every time there's an exciting new episode of the Audiophiliac Daily Show. Um, like them, share them, thumbs up, all that kind of stuff. If you really like it and you've gotten this far into the video, let me give a little commercial for myself. Check out the Patreon page, which can be found at p-a-t-r-e-o-n dot com slash audiophiliac. Thank you so much for watching. See you soon.